When it comes to the world of luxury goods, perhaps no one is more successful than Bernard Arnault. The 73-year-old CEO of French luxury conglomerate LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton has built his fortune for almost four decades. Watch on to find out how Arnault blended all his children into his business. Where it all began, Bernard Arnault was born on March 5, 1949, in Roubaix. His father is a manufacturer who graduated from École Centrale Paris and then owned the civil engineering company Ferret Savinel. Arnault was educated in the Lycée Maxence Vandermeersch in Roubaix. He then studied engineering at one of France's most prestigious schools, the École Polytechnique. After graduating, he went to work for his father's construction company, Ferret Savignon. Three years later, he convinced his father to shift the focus of the company to real estate. Ferret Savignon sold the industrial construction division and renamed it Ferronel. Following the acquisition of a textile company and relocation of their headquarters, the company renamed the real estate branch to the George V Group. The real estate assets were later sold to Compagnie Générale des Eaux, which eventually became Nexity, the beginning of his luxury business. Arnault began his career in 1971 at his dad's company, where he was its president. In 1984, Arnault, then a young real estate developer, heard that the French government was set to choose someone to take the Boussac saint vray empire, a textile and retail conglomerate that owned Christian Dior. With the help of Antoine Bernheim, a senior partner of Lazare Ferre, Arnault acquired the financier Agache and subsequently won the bidding war for the Boussac saint ferre buying the group for a ceremonial one franc and effectively taking control over the Boussac saint ferre Along with Christian Dior, Boussac's assets include the departmental store Les Bob Marché, the retail chute Conforama, and diapers manufacturing. After Arnault bought Boussac, he laid off 9,000 workers in two years, which made him acquire the new nickname, The Terminator. He also sold nearly all of the company's assets, keeping only the Christian Dior brand and Le Bon Marché. However, by 1987, the company was profitable again and booked earnings of $112 million on a revenue stream of $1.9 billion. In the late 1980s, Arnault said his goal was to run the world's largest luxury company within the following decades. He then set his sight on Louis Vuitton, spending $2.6 billion buying up shares to become the company's largest shareholder and eventually its chairman and CEO in 1989. Arnault went on to become a luxury goods billionaire whose businesses include some of the best-known names in fashion, jewelry, and alcohol, including Louis Vuitton, Tag, and Dom Perignon. Enjoying the video so far? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stick around for a fact about Bernard Arnault that is sure to raise your eyebrows. A billionaire's lifestyle. Like many of his fellow billionaires, Arnault lives a lavish life. He always travels by private jet and owns a vacation villa on the French Riviera, and has reportedly spent at least $94.4 million on residential properties in the Los Angeles area, in Beverly Hills, and the Hollywood Hills neighborhoods. The French billionaire lives currently on Paris's left bank, south of the Seine River, a historical area that includes neighborhoods like the Latin Quarter. His personal life. Arnault married Anne de Warven in 1973 and they had two children together before separating in 1990. Arnault remarried in 1991 to Hélène Mercier, a Canadian concert pianist. He reportedly wooed her by playing Chopin and other classical composers. Arnault is an amazing art lover as well. His collections include works by Picasso, Henry Moore, and Andy Warhol. He was also instrumental in establishing Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy as a major patron of art in France. The Louis Vuitton Young Fashion Designer was created as an international competition open to students in fine arts school. Every year, the winner is awarded a grant to support the creation of the designer's label with a year of mentorship. Did you know the billionaire wanted to apply for Belgian citizenship? In 2013, it was disclosed that Arnault planned to apply for Belgian citizenship and was considering a move to Belgium. However, Arnault voiced out that he was misquoted and that he never intended to leave France. He said he will always be a French citizen and continue to pay taxes. In April 2013, he announced that he had abandoned his application for Belgian citizenship, saying he didn't want the move to be misinterpreted as a way of evading tax at a time when France faced economic and social challenges. Bernard Arnault's Children and Their Contribution to the Family Business Arnault has five children, two with his first wife and three with his current wife. Dauphine and Antoine Arnett are his two children from his first marriage. The other three, Alexandre, Frederick, and Jean, are from his second marriage to Mercier. Delphine Arnault is the oldest and only daughter of the billionaire, and she is the apparent heiress to the Louis Vuitton conglomerate. She started her career at the American consultancy firm McKinsey & Company in Paris, and she is now the executive vice president at Louis Vuitton. 
In January 2019, she became the youngest member of Louis Vuitton's executive committee at the age of 43. Delphine had earlier married Italian wine heir Alessandro Gancia in 2005 in what Forbes magazine called the France Wedding of the Year. But unfortunately, they divorced in 2010. She now reportedly lives with tech billionaire Xavier Neal and has one daughter. Her younger brother Antoine is the CEO of the menswear label Berluti and also chairs the cashmere label Loro Piana, both Louis Vuitton brands. Arnault's second son, Alexandre, is the executive at Tiffany & Company. Louis Vuitton acquired Tiffany & Company in 2021, after which Alexandre became the company's executive vice president of product and communication. Before moving over to Tiffany, Alexandre was the CEO of Remoa, a German luggage brand owned by Louis Vuitton. Alexandre's younger brother, Frédéric, is the CEO of Tag Heuer. As for Frédéric, he joined Louis Vuitton as the temporary head of connected technologies at Tag Heuer in 2017. A year later, he became the strategy and digital director at the Swiss watch company, Louis Vuitton's largest watch brand, and in 2020, Frédéric was named as Tag Heuer's CEO. The last of the Arnault children, Jean, joined the family business in 2021. He became the marketing and product director of the Louis Vuitton watch division in August of 2021. Jean, who was 23 at the time, has a master's degree in financial mathematics from Massachusetts Institute for Technology, as well as a master's in mechanical engineering from London Imperial College. He worked at Morgan Stanley and McLaren Racing for his internship, and also in a Louis Vuitton retail store before joining the family empire full-time. Today, Bernard Arnault is ranked the second richest person in the world with a net worth of $174.1 billion, according to Forbes, only behind Elon Musk. The billionaire transformed the conglomerate into a family line with all his children working in the empire. If a new CEO is to be appointed after Bernard retires, won't it be a tussle on whom to choose? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and check out the next video.